Hello everyone, this is Joe from Scarecrow Joe Studio. Here's a quick tutorial on how to make a small batch of paper mache clay using cellulose fiber insulation. First thing that you're going to need is your paper mache paste. That's nothing more than flour and water mixed to a thin pancake batter consistency. Then you're going to need some drywall joint compound. And then of course, main ingredient here is the cellulose fiber itself. Um, this is made by a company called Green Fiber and depending on your location the packaging could be different and the price point could be different. And then of course you're going to need your hand mixer. Alright here we go. So the first step after mixing up your paste is to take a scoop of the drywall joint compound and add that to your paste mixture there of flour and water. It's probably easier instead of using your hands to have like a small spatula or something like that um, instead of doing what I'm doing here because it gets messy and then you just go ahead from that point and mix that up. That hand mixer I'm using is a cheap one that I picked up and I do recommend that you uh, you, with these certain tools, you know, just have them dedicated to your paper mache. Um, you really don't want to use a hand mixer for paper mache and bowls and things like that and then take them back to your kitchen and use them for cooking. Um, this way you don't have to worry about sanitizing them and getting them clean enough after you've mixed up drywall joint compound and paste and all that other kind of stuff. All right. So at this point, this is where we're going to start incorporating our cellulose fiber insulation here. Um, and what I do is I just grab handfuls of it and, and you'll notice that it, it'll come in that bale and it'll be kind of chunky. So you want to break that up before putting that into your uh, paste mixture there with the drywall joint compound. And I just kind of start by putting in a, a couple or, you know, two to three handfuls of this, breaking it up, putting it in there. And then uh, from that point, just go ahead and start mixing. It does get a little dusty, so if you do have allergies or Anything like asthma, it's a pretty good idea to wear a dust mask. That'll help you out. But just, uh, you know, when you're, when you're incorporating this, the cellulose fiber insulation into the paste mixture here, a um, couple handfuls at a time, and make sure you're mixing it really, really well so that it's all incorporated into your paste mixture. So that's what I'm concentrating on now. And you can see that uh, at that point, it's fairly mixed in pretty good. So I'm just going to go ahead and start adding a couple of handfuls at a time. And again, breaking it up. The fiber insulation does come in a, uh, it's like a bale of this stuff. So it's packed pretty tight. And here we go with the mixer again. This isn't very exciting, but this is how you make the small batch of clay here. And I do have a tutorial on how to make the larger batch of clay um, that I usually do like in a big bucket. Um, and I use a drill with a paint mixer drill attachment. But if you're not, you know, if you're not going to use a bunch of clay at one sitting because it does have a shelf life, this is the best way to do it. Do small batches at a time. Um, and then you can actually refrigerate this stuff if you're not going to use it all in one sitting. And again, you know, I'm just adding some more of the cellulose fiber insulation, a couple handfuls at a time until I get the right consistency. Now, you don't want this too wet, but you don't also, you don't want it too dry either. So. It might take you a couple of times to practice and get the right consistency, but if you feel like you've gotten it too dry, it's a very simple fix. Because all you have to do is go back and add some of your paste mixture 
um, even without the drywall joint compound, just a little flour and water paste mixture to it to moisten it back up. Not a big deal. So at this point, uh, my little hand mixer is not strong enough to maneuver this clay or mix this clay any farther. So this is where I resort to using the old bread kneading uh, or dough, uh, dough making or in mixing effect with my hands. That's the easiest way to do it at that point when you feel like your little hand mixer just isn't strong enough or powerful enough to continue mixing it. And it's also a good idea um, to use your hands when it gets to a certain point because you can actually feel the texture at that point. Feel how much moisture is in there. Um, and right here, see, uh, you know, there's a string that was in there. Uh, the cellulose fiber insulation, because it's made in a recycling type of a, an environment, a recycling plant, um, you will occasionally find things like that, strings and sometimes even bits of plastic. When you find them, um, just pull those out of there. If, if some of that stuff does end up getting mixed into your clay, it's not that big of a deal. Um, it's not going to hurt anything. Uh, more than anything, it's just kind of annoying. So when you see it, uh, just, just remove that stuff. So back to the uh, dough kneading or bread kneading technique. And I'm just kind of uh, balling it up into my hand, pulling it apart, kind of gauging the consistency. And I feel like it's still probably a little bit too much, too moist. So I'm going to add a little bit more clay or cellulose fiber insulation in there. And I'm going to continue to mix. Now, going back to the cellulose fiber insulation, uh, that material is, uh, its purpose is for blow in or spray in um, insulation into walls. But it is a, a green fiber, so it's just paper material, bits of paper that's ground up and it makes really great clay and it's super cheap although it does come in a big bale um, and again depending on your location the cost point could be a little bit different like I got this giant bale of this stuff um, for about 15 bucks at uh, one of the big box um, <clears throat> home improvement stores. And in my area where I live, in the Reno Tahoe area, um, it's readily available. So at this point, I'm going back after I added some more of the cellulose fiber insulation. And if I can make a ball, here's the thing, if I can make a ball and it doesn't feel too wet or heavy and it holds, holds its shape, I know that that's a good batch of clay. So the other thing that you're going to want to do is put this clay into some kind of container with a lid on it um, that you can that you can seal and uh, like I said prior to this um, if you're not going to use it right away you could stick that in the refrigerator just like that and it'll keep longer for you and there you go thanks for watching and that's it for this one catch you in the next one